Hello again, a very warm welcome to you all. My name is Denny K and I'm here today with a bottle of Tobermory 12 year old pork pipe finish. Now for those that watched last week's review, it was the 15 year old limited edition by Tobermory, one of my favorite bottles of all time. Now that one unfortunately is discontinued. This one is not. Now I'm not gonna to spend too much time talking about the actual distillery, I've done that before. I'd rather spend the time talking about this particular release. I do have to put my hand up and say, I've cheated a little bit here. I'll tell you why in a moment. Um, before I do, I've started to say, if you'd like to subscribe, hit the like button or comment, please do so. If you don't know what to comment, even a thumbs up or something like that would be absolutely fantastic. Now, as I said, I cheated with this because the mailman literally just knocked on my door not long ago and I wanted to sit down, open this and just go through the experience with a fresh bottle with you. Um, but as I poured it, the bouquet just absolutely um, smacked me in the face. It was so fantastic. I couldn't help myself. I had to give it a smell and a taste. So uh, a <laughs> little bit of a cheat there, but at least I know now that is rather intriguing. As I said, uh, limited to 3,101 bottles worldwide, only bottled at 58.6%, non-chill filtered, natural color. The color is also really rather interesting. The only way that I can describe it is a dark strawberry blonde because there's copper, gold, and almost a really bright tinge of red or a pinkish hue that absolutely shines through with this one. And you can see that it's really rather dense in the appearance. You, you just know that there's so much flavor that's trapped in there. Anyway, I really can't wait to get started with this. I'm gonna talk about the whiskey a little bit in a moment as well, but in terms of the nose, there is a lot that's going on. Honey hits you immediately with a 15 year old I did last week. I couldn't pinpoint exactly what type of honey, with this I can. It is a Manuka honey because it is a really deep and rich honey sweetness that comes through with berries, an abundance of berries, mainly blackberries, raspberries, and strawberries. Yes, overripe strawberries. Also, some cherries here as well. Now with the strawberries, if you have had, or you can remember from childhood, um, strawberry jelly, perhaps you've made strawberry for kids or even for yourself <laughs> recently, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Some lovely chocolate notes that come through with some spice. The spice is cinnamon, nutmeg, and a little bit of pepper. Pork pipe finish. There's something else I, I could describe here. Uh, if you had a mulled wine, a really great quality sangria that's being made for you, you'll get that here as well. That sweetness, the winey nose also with those spices that come through, it is really rather fantastic. There is so much going on with this nose. Now, I do have to say, that's fantastic. Now, that's not what I was gonna say, but it is. What I find with Tobermory whiskey is that nine out of 10 Tobermory whiskeys you have, the smell and taste are not exactly the same. So what I mean by that is it is not one dimensional. It is really rather complex. It is an absolute experience because you're not getting all of the sweet notes immediately on taste. Really what you're getting here is you're getting some spice that comes through along with some herbal notes. Now, with Tobermory and also with Le Chic, one of the things that I do find just the characteristic of the actual whiskey is you will find herbal notes with this, yes, absolutely. And as I think I've said in the past, if it's if it's spent some time in a cask other than a bourbon cask, honey always shines through as well for me. But in terms of the spice here, cinnamon, nutmeg, candied ginger, also a little bit of pepper. Now, then what I'm getting is I'm getting some really rich, dense chocolate with berries. If you like black, forest cake, you will absolutely adore this. Absolutely, berries, yes, absolutely. Predominantly though, the strawberries. I mentioned overripe strawberries before, you're getting that with some mixed berry compote, fantastic. A rather long finish, it is a sweet and spicy long finish. It just keeps on going. Dense, fantastic mouthfeel, and also really rather rich. But I'm still gonna add some water to this because I, the 58.6% for me, I think is a rather um, high ABV. I do enjoy um, whiskey a little bit lower than that, and I do like to add 
water to most cask strength whiskies to be able to bring the ABV down. Now, I'm not sure if I've spoken about this, but I do really need to mention that in my experience, and I do keep an eye out for Tobermory whiskey. I'll talk about this while I give uh, the water just to settle um, in my glass. Now, give it a bit of time. I don't see very much Tobermory that spent time in port casks. Bourbon casks, yes. Sherry casks, yes. Predominantly Oloroso sherry casks. Port, not really. So a rather unique proposition with this particular one here. I do um, think that within Australia, it has been sold out. So I think there are 120 bottles available. If you uh, purchase one, then well done to you. And if you didn't, then you should probably go out and try to find one. There are probably still plenty hanging around overseas. So depending on where you are, you may be able to find some. But if, um, if you find some locally to you, I'll tell you what, it's really creamy now at the moment as well. Um, the strawberry and cream confectionery with all this is what I'm getting that comes through chocolate. Yes, absolutely. It's almost like a really just um, impressive chocolate mud cake. It's just very, very decadent. It is a dessert dram. Absolutely it is. Spice has died down a tiny bit, but as I said before, strawberries front and center with this one. Fantastic nose. Initially, I got a little bit of a kick of alcohol and spice, but now that I've added water in, I'm still getting spice that comes through. Candy ginger, along with a little bit of pepper. Touch of black, touch of white. But chocolate and strawberries. If you have had chocolate-covered Turkish Delight, and I'm talking about buying that from an actual delicatessen, which you can get, or from a Middle Eastern store, You'll find that as well, along with a little bit of hazelnut. There's just so much that's going on here. Long, lingering, chocolate, nuts, strawberries, spice, all together, rather lengthy finish, a rather full finish. Rather impressive whiskey. I'd give this an eight and a half out of 10. And I do have to say, um, thank you very much to the team at TWL for actually bringing this in to Australia for us and also for the bottle because it's, um, it's really an impressive whiskey. I would score this an eight and a half out of 10 rather easily. As I said, a dessert dram is the way that I would describe it. If I were to quite simply just summarize it, um, that's exactly the way that I would put it. And I do think, and I do try to keep these short and sharp, so I won't, um, I won't harp on too much on this, but normally in a lineup of whiskey, you'll start with some perhaps lower ABV, maybe a cognac armagnac to begin with, and then you start working through um, and then you arrive at Pete's, right? And then from Pete, most people don't really have anywhere else to go but more Pete. Not with something like this, right? High ABV, a very robust malt that Tobermory produce. You can go a malt like a long morn because I know I've had them after repeated dram and they've actually held up, um, absolutely held up. But something like this, you can do that. So what I would even say is if you do want to mix up a lineup and you have a bottle of this, or you can find a bottle of this, or something like this, then absolutely try that, because I think that this can cut through the peat and work rather well. It's a fantastic malt to have as your last one of the night, because it's an absolute treat. So, as I said, thank you very much once again. Cheers to everyone for taking the time to sit down and watch. Till next time.